Hi there. This is about how I felt when I was uh, writing this journal. So I think I'll record it this way. Different version of a talking head, huh? And you know the darn thing can't even wink. Look at that. Look at that pathetic effort. There we go. It tries. Okay, so this is the third journal from 221, uh, 11 16 a.m., the day 10 Transformer or Death. It's called Welcoming the Now. Taking a short break from reading Anastasia, the Vladimir Megre book about the truly amazing Siberian woman and her kin, uh, Ringing Cedars. It is a series of eight or nine books, and I am looking pleasantly forward to reading them all. I pause here, though, to document that I have just made contact with her grandfather, and perhaps, yes, her great-grandfather, too. I was so moved by the way she was explaining to Vladimir in the book how it was that she knew all languages, that my heart was deeply touched. I love languages, you see. I love words. That is perhaps silly, I know, for I also don't trust concepts, and words convey those. Still, I love words. There is magic in them. There are no coincidences, no accidents, not even with words. I pay attention to every supposed typo. Okay, I'll add more to this later perhaps, probably. Meanwhile, I just wanted to record the sacred contact. They felt me, felt my presence, and received my request to also be taught, as Anastasia was. I believe that they are working with me, that they have welcomed me, and are willing to assist me. I am grateful and so pleased. Okay, I took a break there and then uh, came back to it. In taking the MMS drops, the mineral, uh, miracle mineral supplement, they bring on such pain in the disabled parts of this body that makes it need to just rest. I try to have patience with this. Healing, real healing, most often comes with spurts of cleansing responses, challenges, and difficulties. How could it be otherwise, as the body throws off its toxic mess? So, I go within. I go into receptive mode and must stop journaling, for that is outward giving mode. Instead, I have learned to just go with the flow, lay down, and put some wonderful lecture or presentation or another on the computer and let it play. Thus, I lay down to receive. Somehow, it is less hard on the body. Till later, then. And then finally, uh, late in the afternoon, I finished it. Returning to this journal now, even though I've already completed another one, that's just how it's working. Here's the deal. I hurt like hell. Now, normally, or in the past, I would have just quit trying to write. Quit writing and just lay down put something nice and distracting, some lecture or another on the computer and gotten into that. It is amazing how much less pain medication one can use if you just distract yourself sufficiently. The thing is, though, something is telling me to go ahead and gripe, to go ahead and just let be with the pain for a change. Though I hesitate to do this, I'm remembering Eckhart Tolle's wonderful teaching on just being with whatever presents itself to you, no matter how challenging. So, rather than run away from it into a lecture, I'll give it a try. I'm pretty good to do that with emotions as they arise. I've even learned to let anger or tears of pain just flow, kind of just be with them, watching the whole thing transpire. If you've ever at least tried to do this, you know what I mean. 
I've been so good about being, uh, no, I haven't been so good about being with physical pain though. What I mean is that aside from taking a minimum narcotics from the plenty prescribed, my habit flow has just been to rest and seek some form of distraction. And that's worked pretty well for years, but I guess it's time to reassess to see if this is the best way to handle this. Okay, so here I sit. It makes me angry now that I just sit with it. It makes me mad that I should have to spend so much time, so many years, in all this damn pain. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. That's what is. So there's nothing wrong with it. It simply is. I can acknowledge that. What's underneath it, though? Oh, I begin to see some fear peek out from somewhere. Now, that is something unusual. Just a moment. I want to be sure I'm heart-centered. I know there is absolutely no fear there. At least that's been my experience so far. Now, let me look. Okay, fear, come on out. Show yourself. It's okay. I won't chase you away. Come on. What are you hiding in there? And why are you hiding anyway? Oh, seems there are some fears about being strong enough, about being able to continue to endure the pain. Hmm. I note the word continue there, which is a time indicator. Time also is not present, at least not like that in heart. Got to check on my centering again. What gives? Oh, there's a fear of weakness, of being weak, wussy. That's interesting. Didn't know that was tucked away in there. Gosh, it seems I'm pretty hard on the self. Just driving on all the time, running right over all of this, never allowing it to speak, to show itself. Little wonder it's afraid. Uh-oh. No, I'm not going to worry about MPD, or uh, multiple personality disorder, or any such nonsense. At times, it is just handy to separate the self out, so to speak, into components, and then let them speak to one another. A lot of inner understanding can arise if we've got the courage to just go there and then watch and observe what arises. So. Let me look, then, at this aspect of self that is fearful, afraid of being weak. Why would that be? Oh, that makes sense. As it is ever necessary to support the self to make it in the world all alone, as I've lived the huge portion of this life, there is the fear of not being able to support the self. Tell you what, that dates this energy for sure. How so? I've been on disability, unable to work, but not quite needing to for some years now. Interesting. Thus, this fear dates itself to the past, to the time of being a single mother trying to make it alone while raising a somewhat special needs child. I'm very proud of her, by the way. She's a tremendously courageous soul who has overcome a whole boatload of challenges to rise up and make a life for herself. She's a gem. But anyway, back to the fear. So it's an old one. That indicates I've somehow managed to bury it for so long to refuse to look at or even acknowledge it, and it appears this has somehow isolated it within. So it is not aware that I no longer must work for a living. I receive disability income. So, dear fear, I invite you out into the open. Come out and look around now and see the current lay of the land and realize you can relax. There is nothing now to worry about. I am taken care of, though perhaps on a minimal basis, but at least I don't have to work. So, come out and let's fall apart together. I won't censure you. You have a right to feel that way, and I can totally relate to it. Though I did not see you at the time, and I regret that now, wait, that's not so. It was what it was, and I was doing the best I could at the time. No regrets. We can't.